Okay, what I've got here is uh, th this coil is powered. Spark cap is the primary of this coil. This coil is unpowered, but the negative of the primary is grounded. The bottom of the secondary is grounded. The bottom of this secondary is also grounded, of course. The plate there is grounded. So the ball is grounded. It's a 35 millimeter sphere. There's 40 millimeters gap between the two terminals, and about 80 millimeters gap between the ball and each terminal. Now the strange thing is that when I fire the setup up, the powered coil has seems to have less voltage on the terminal than the unpowered coil because there's a tendency of sparks to break between the ball and the left hand unpowered coil where there's not on this side there's also sparks breaking out from the top of the secondary to the primary coil former which is a very poor choice of coil former I do admit nonetheless it is um, the sparks breaking to the coil former is inconsequential but the interesting thing is is the fact that there appears to be more voltage appearing on the terminal of the unpowered coil as compared to the powered coil that's the only thing I wanted to show at present so I'll just turn the set up on a little closer to the to the powered coil just it's more of a tendency for the arcs to break out on the unpowered coil this coil form material is obviously very substandard, well, all of them. And not much better with wood slats. Okay, so I'll move the ball a little closer to the unpowered coil. Interesting. 